Hello guys, this is Mr. Dumner. This is my part two on how to install Mac OS X on my PC. So now you're gonna wanna put in your CD, the one that the ISO that you burn on a CD, you're gonna wanna put it in before you restart your computer. And then you wanna click restart. So you're gonna be able to boot up into the CD. So the partition we made and everything, we already prepared for everything. Alright. And then once your computer is gonna start be starting up. You want to hit, keep hitting the escape key or whatever your boot menu key is. It says on the bottom or on the top or left or right. Most likely it's on the bottom. For an HP, I'm pretty sure it will be the same for every HP. Uh, then you're gonna want to select the last one, and not necessarily the last one for you, but last one for me. CD-ROM group, and then you're gonna click on your CD-ROM drive where your CD is in. Then you're gonna want to press any press any key. And that's going to take a while. Okay. Sorry that I haven't made the part 2 video for a while. It's because I had a lot of schoolwork and just been busy all over. So I'm going to come back when this is done. It about 3 minutes to do this process. Then you want to click select your language. And then you want to click the next arrow to the right. Then this takes about like 4 or 5 seconds. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is go on the top bar, click Utilities, then click on Disk Utility, once the welcome thing pops up. And you're going to wait for the utility thing to pop Oh, that's pretty cool. Hazard. 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 Hazard, I think. Alright, then you want to click on your partition that you made. Now, how I know that this is my partition, this OS3, is because here on the bottom, you probably can't see. Here on the bottom, it says capacity, and then that's 53. I mean, 50 gigs, and that's how much my partition was. All right. So then, you're gonna want to click erase, second tab. Then you're gonna select this as Mac OS X Extended Journal, and then you're gonna want to name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Mac OS X. You should do that too. And then click Erase. And then click Erase here to confirm it. About three seconds. And then what you're going to want to do is close this window. And then you're going to want to go back to the welcome screen. And then you want to click Continue on the bottom. And then you're going to want to click Agree with the agreements. And then select the Mac OS X partition because that's the only one available because you selected the journal. So Mac recognizes that partition and click continue then click customize and then here on this step you're going to want to select a few things for the bootloaders um, you're going to select um, the chameleon RC3 uh, 10.5 then you're going to want to pick the kernel it, for this the first one the, ADA, the Atom is for the Atom, Intel Atom processor so that's for Intel Legacy is for any Intel processor, and then Modbin is for AMD. Mine is an AMD, so I select AMD. Alright, then you're going to select the audio drivers. I'm not really sure which one I have, so I just selected them all. I selected the network drivers because I want to have some internet on there. Uh, go to system support, and then go on... Okay, go down. And then select SM BIOS Resolver. It resolves something with your BIOS because every time you restart your computer, uh, it resets something. Then you're going to want to expand CMOS Reset Fix. And then you're going to want to select Elliot Forest Legacy RTC. Prevents your BIOS reset for motherboards. Yeah, yeah, what I just said with this SM BIOS Resolver, they kind of work the same. And you're going to need to select an AMD here in the check mark if you have an AMD processor. So that is it. Then, once you're done, you're going to click Done. So after we selected all the drivers with the Customize option, we're going to want to click Install. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this process might take from anywhere from like 6 to 10 minutes. So I'm going to be back when it's... Oh, and then skip this checking installation thing. Because it's not needed. Skip it. Then it might take about... Six to ten minutes for this, so I'll be back. Alright guys, so that took about fifteen minutes. Uh I thought it was gonna take to six to fifteen to ten, but that took with another ISO I did before. So then you're gonna wanna click restart. 
and you're not going to want to boot into the CD anymore because you've installed Chameleon, a boot manager, which will, you'll see what it does. It's pretty cool. I like it. It gives you a choice between Windows and Mac every time you boot. See, so when this is here, you're going to want to wait for it to shut down your computer. If this gray thing stays here for over a minute, just hold the power button and turn it off because it got frozen or something. Alright, turn your computer back on. Don't boot, don't open up the boot menu, don't boot into any, you know, CD or anything. Just wait for this. Wait for the chameleon to load. Press any key. That's pretty cool, guys, isn't it? Then you got the system reserved, which, I don't know, I guess that's a partition that Windows made when I installed Windows. That, that doesn't really matter, though. Uh, it's a recovery one, that's just for backup. Then you have Windows NTF, that's your Windows, and then that's Mac OS X. So we're going to want to boot into Mac OS X, so press enter on the Mac OS X tab. Then, ooh, nice, the Apple logo, how nice. And then you're going to want to wait until this loads. the sound was working. After you wait there for at least five minutes, at least five minutes, then this is going to load up. Then you're going to want to wait. It says welcome in all different languages, which is pretty neat. And then we're just going to follow the simple setup process guide. Oh, that looks beautiful. Yeah. And we waited on the Apple screen for maybe at least six minutes. All right. Now you're going to identify your keyboard. And then you're going to want to press OK. Okay, then you're going to press United States if you're in the United States, then press continue. Then I am in the United States, so I'm going to select United States and continue. Then U.S. layout for... Then select the last one, do not transfer any information, then press continue. Alright, so that screen froze on me. Alright, then when you see this, you're going to want to click My Computer Does Not Connect to the Internet. Then you're going to want to click continue. Then type in your first name. Alright, and then type in your last letter. And then press continue. You're not going to press anything else. Continue. Sorry for my phone there. And then change your account name. Alright. And then you're going to type in your password. And then press continue. Creating my account. Alright. No, we're not going to take a snapshot. I Oh, seriously? This works? Camera thing works? That's pretty cool. The stick shift for the car. Press continue. I just choose this time zone, whatever this is. I just choose it. Alright, then press done. And now you're set with Mac OS X and Windows 7. So now you have dual boot, Mac OS X and Windows 7. And as you can see, it works right here. And then uh, everything else. This is not a looks. Camera off. And to prove it that it is real Mac OS X, you already know it's real, but go to the Apple and then click about this Mac. And then see? 2.4 gigahertz, Core Duo 2, 4 gigs of RAM, Mac OS X. And one more, uh, one more tip, you're not going to want to make updates on this type of uh, software because it's going to crash your system down. And so that is it. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment, like. Hope you like this. Bye.